Nigeria's gospel singer Kunle Ajamali is back in court. This time is seeking the backing of the presidency. In late 2010, the singer accused United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement officers of forcefully inserting a tracking device in his body through his inners. The gospel singer who was represented in court by his lawyer Femi Falano has now filed a fresh suit before Justice Mohammed Idris of the Federal High Court in Lagos. He wants the courts to compel the federal government to drag the United States government before the United Nations. Ajamole had earlier sued United Airlines and the Nigerian Ministry of Internal Affairs demanding $100 million as damages for the violation of his fundamental rights to dignity and rights to mental health as guaranteed by Section 35 and 41 of the Constitution. The suit which was before Justice Rita Ophili Ajumogobia has now been withdrawn and a fresh one has been filed before Justice Muhammad Idris. The new judge handling the case noted that the suit bothered on alleged violation of human rights and needs to be urgently heard. He therefore ordered that the defendants be served with the processes in the suit on fixed Friday, August the 7th, for hearing. In the new suit, United Airlines was accused of allowing Ajomale to be illegally flown into Nigeria without his passport, while the officials of the Ministry of Internal Affairs were said to have allowed the U.S. immigration officers dump Ajomale in Nigeria without proper documentation. The complainant averred in his affidavit that he has been living in the United States since 1997 with a visiting visa and became a permanent resident in February 2008 and never had any criminal record all through the period. But the U.S. Department of Justice had insisted that Ajamale was sentenced to six months imprisonment and two years supervised release for making false statement while applying for a United States passport. Bolabo Famous School, TVC News, Degas.